Hey guys, I wanted to set up HTTPS for the Slack clone, similar to how GitHub has it. Up here, you see this little green, and many other sites are doing it nowadays, and it's just to make uh, the site more secure, and also, um, I believe it has some imp uh, performance improvements as well using it. Um, now, I've never actually set this up before, so I did some research about it, and it seems people recommend using this Nginx proxy uh, library for setting up it in Docker and using Nginx. Now, this is a pretty popular library, as you can see by the number of stars, and you actually just use this in place of using the Nginx uh, image. Now, before I continue on, though, just a note, I did not get it working yet because I was using Let's Encrypt to generate the uh, encryption needed, and that does not like EC2, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So this, pro this uh, library right here is a Docker image that you use totally in place of the regular Nginx image, and I actually didn't really get why this is needed. I can understand why it's needed for Docker Compose, but now that Docker Compose is a thing and that we're using Docker Compose, I don't really think this library um, is needed at all. So there's this little link here that links you to why you might want to use Nginx proxy. And I read it and it said that uh, basically as containers uh, die and are restarted, their IPs change. And uh, this will help you keep track of the IPs and will automatically restart Nginx and point the IP to the correct host. Um, so you can see he basically created a template file and as this host is changing the proxy pass changes so as a container is destroyed and restarted it gets a new IP and the IP is replaced which sounds nice um, if you're not using Docker Compose but with Docker Compose we just put web here and since they're on the same web network, we don't have to worry about IP addresses uh, at all. We just let um, Docker Compose handle that, and we just point Nginx at the web container. So if the web container is restarted, it's still going to be the web container. So I don't really see a need for Nginx proxy right now, but I might be missing something. Um, but you can still use it to um, get SSL set up so if we come down here setting up SSL support they recommend using uh, let's encrypt they're using which is a really nice uh, tool and I really like it at least what from what I heard from it, it looks really nice and so there's this companion project um, so if we click on that it is another docker image and what this guy does is we can see this little diagram it's pretty nice so it basically acts as our little let's encrypt container guy and what it does is it gets the certificates and auto renew stuff uh, when the certificates get old which is really nice and how it recommends setting things up is there's this nice little uh, example down here that I was going to use to set up so it's over here and their example looks like this so this is how they recommend the getting it set up now they ended up using uh, nginx gin and the regular nginx which i like better since i didn't see the need for um this nginx proxy but nginx proxy just uses these two anyway if you look at docker gin this is um this is what nginx proxy uses Basically, it listens for when containers are started and restarted, and it automatically con like recreates configuration files based on that. So here is the Nginx template, and you'll notice again, uh, the proxy, the host is changing, and so every time a container is started or restarted, it grabs the host. So that's what Docker Gen does, basically just listens for containers to uh, as they change. So this is using using Docker Gen again, which or engine yeah Docker Gen, which I don't know if it's needed or not. Um, I'm thinking I could maybe set this up with just Nginx and just Let's Encrypt, but this particular container 
or this particular library, this Let's Encrypt Nginx proxy companion, expects you to have Docker Gin. So it does not work without it. But I'm thinking I might be able to set something up uh, without it. Now with that said, I tried to get this um, set up. So here is the Docker Compose I set up for it. So the first thing I did was add a couple other containers that Nginx needs. Um, and I just created a local Nginx folder um, to store it. So storing the configuration file and the um, certificates needed. And then I just gave it a container name, Nginx, because it's going to be used, um, I believe, yeah. So I have to name the containers for this service. So Nginx, the name matches with Nginx up here. And then I opened up a new port, 443. And that's all I did with the Nginx. You notice I got rid of the command at the bottom because it's just going to use the default config. Um, because Nginx gen is going to worry about uh, changing the configuration for us. This, I just copied the command that they gave us and then put Nginx because that's the name of my container. And then I set up these configuration files for Let's Encrypt and the Nginx uses. And you'll notice here I used my site uh, dot template because that's the name of my Nginx template right here. And again, I'm not using any of the stuff that uh, the templates look like where they're using the IP address that's changing. I'm just using web. Okay, and then I'm mapping that to the Nginx template uh, like they do in that configuration file. And then I set up the Nginx Let's Encrypt uh, service here and uh, again I just used the image that they gave us and the defaults here um, and then I added on a virtual host and a let's encrypt host pointing at my EC2 instance right here which they talk about doing we come over here right here so you can add a virtual host and you want to point it at your subdomain and without the HTTPS in front. So although I didn't like having to use this Docker gin because I didn't think I really needed it, um, it's possible it's needed for the Let's Encrypt stuff. So I thought, you know, let's just give it a try and see if it does work. So I went to my, S, uh, my EC2 server and I ran Docker Compose up and we actually got a little problem. So with Let's Encrypt, we got this little error here called Acme Server Returned an Error, and it said creating new, uh, basically a not authorized policy forbids issuing for name, um, and the name being this guy right here. So I looked up this error, and it turns out Let's Encrypt, uh, which is what we're using for encryption, blacklists um, EC2 instances, so it doesn't let you. So what you have to do is set up a custom domain on it to get it to work so not sure what I'm gonna do about this next I might set up a custom domain um, and see if I can get this working or it seems like a decent amount of trouble I might just leave it uh, and forget about HTTPS for this particular project um, but yeah let me know if you guys have set up HTTPS in Docker and how you've done it um, at least with Nginx like we want to do here um, and also if you've ever used this this guy nginx proxy I'm curious what the use case for it is uh, but yeah that's it, it for this video guys sorry we didn't get HTTPS working um, it's annoying that they block EC2 it's also possible we can set up our own encryption and not use let's encrypt I've just heard let's encrypt is very easy um, with having to set up because the encryption expires so it the, handles the whole process of um, auto renewing and stuff which is nice and changing your nginx file but that's it for this video guys thanks for watching